All right, greetings and salutations. Welcome to Tanisha's Reading Corner Podcast. I am your host, Tanisha. Tanisha's Reading Podcast is dedicated to anyone who desires to make reading a daily habit as a form of self-care. To stay updated when a new podcast is uploaded, please subscribe to the channel. In addition, you can find me on Instagram at Tanisha's Reading Corner for many book recommendations and tips and tricks on how to keep reading a daily habit. Let's dive into today's episode. So a couple of weeks ago, I posted a thing on my Instagram, uh, Tanisha's Reading Cor- at Tanisha's Reading Corner, and I asked uh, the people, you know, how many of you have a reading journal? And 40, 60% said they did not, and 40% said that they did. So for the 60% that said that they do not have a reading journal, this podcast, this is for you. This is all about reading journals, why we need them, why must we use them, and how to get one. So let's dive in dive in. So a purpose of a reading journal is just that it is a journal dedicated to writing out all of our expressions and how we feel about the things that we're reading in the journal. You know, I've been using them ever since I was little, you know, back in elementary, or I say kindergarten really. My um, kindergarten teacher would tell us all to have a reading book out and bring out our reading journals. We write out the ideas, the plots, the themes, the character, the things we like, the things we didn't like, and then we'd go from there. So, purpose. Like I said, the purpose of a reading journal is to express in writing uh, your own personal interests and insights and build on skills that are already intuitively possessed. You know, the ability to observe, to listen, to take notes, to reflect on your notes, ask your questions that are born out of a sense of just genuine curiosity. Uh, I graduated from the University of Washington of Tacoma, woot woot, and on their website they have a writing and communications um <coughs> program and they are very big advocates of the creative writing programs for their students and they encourage their students to use a reading journal because they are giving student their students space and encouragement to record their personal thoughts reactions to the reading so that way it can locate their specific points of engagement with the text if they or if they initially react negatively to the text this is a type of journey specific to books you read and not meant to be confused with a personal journal for your daily life that's something completely separate so what is what it is but why do we need one well i'm going to give you 10 reasons as to why a reading journal will definitely benefit you on your journey into making reading a daily habit so, number one, it increases retention. You are better able to remember the details, quotes, plots that you read, either you write or you type out the notes, um, either in, a, in a, a note app that you have on your phone, or you can have a physical one, a reading journal. So, number one, increases retention of what you just read. Number two, forces you to contemplate the material you read and then articulate your thoughts about it. Reading journals are meant for you to essentially take pause and really just stop and think, contemplate. What I just read, uh, why is that important? Why is it stirring these feelings in me? You know, where in my life can I draw back to an experience that's closest to what the characters are going through? So therefore, you're not just reading, you're actively reading. You're actively engaging with what you're reading. Number three, allow you to study and analyze the material from the writer's perspective. So you really, I mean, obviously most authors will tell you that they themselves have a reading journal, not just for their own body of the work, but for others' bodies of work as well. So that way they can go back and look at it and see, okay, what was it about this character that drew me to them? And so really getting the perspective of the author, uh, trying to figure out what is the author really trying to tell me in this text? What am I truly trying to gain? Is it supposed to be fun? Is it supposed to be more introspective? Am I supposed to gain a life lesson from this? What is that? So number three. Number two, I'm sorry, number three, number three, allows you to study and analyze the material from the writer's perspective. Number four, provides you a time and space for writing practice. Now, in our reading practice, it's always a good idea to read room for the writing practice. It just gives you a deeper respect for what the authors go through in the writing process. Being able to write out, you know, the ideas, the thoughts, or maybe not even write, maybe doodle or draw what the characters might look like, what their settings might look like. And you're better able to visualize what you are reading. You know, I'm a kinesthetic learner. So basically, I need to play with the things that I'm learning with. Otherwise, they stay with me more. You know, and I need to draw it out, write it out. So that way, it, the memory stays with me. 
So that was number four, provide time and space for writing practice. Number five, it helps keep you on track of what you've read and when you've read it. Librarians have told me that patrons want to pull records of what they've checked out in the past because they don't remember what they read, a certain book or not. That's very true. I love going to libraries. I love looking at all the books and everything. And also if you're if the books and everything and also in libraries as well, you can check to see what books have I read? When did I last read it? But also with a reading journal, what you can do is uh, one dedicate one page to all the books you've read this month or a couple months or for the year. So in case you have a goal, like I want to read X amount of books before the end of the year, you can keep track of all those things. All right. And you know what? We're going to take a quick little break right now. I'm going to do a quick little product promo and then we'll jump right back into the episode. So stay tuned. Ladies of the podcast, did you know that your period is not supposed to hurt? Periods are normal, but the pain should not be. Inflammation occurs naturally on your cycle, but painful periods indicate that the inflammation is higher than it should be. That's where some main supplements come in. The main PMS supplements comes packed with nine superpowered plant extracts and minerals. Semaine will not only help to lower your pain levels, but to also support your body naturally from cycle to cycle. For more information, go to their website at Semaine, S-E-M-A-I-N-E, health.com. Also follow them on Instagram at Semaine Health. Also, listeners of the podcast, when you find a supplement that you like to use, your Como code, Tanisha's Reading Corner to get 20% off your first bottle. Again, the promo code Tanisha's Reading Corner to get 20% off your first bottle. Now, let's get back into the episode. Again, that promo code for the Semain supplements is Tanisha's Reading Corner. Okay, so jumping right back in with number six as to why you need a reading journal. It ensures that you capture the ideas and inspiration that pop up while you're reading. I have found that it is an incredibly fun and creative way to just keep yourself grounded into what you're reading and be able to play with it you know one thing I like to do with my reading journal I like to put stickers on I like to doodle I like to draw I like to paint oftentimes in my reading journal um, the scenes and the characters and the main ideas and with that it helps you to stay with you also number seven so like I said in the beginning now your reading journal well, I did say in the beginning, your reading journal shouldn't become like your life journal, but honestly, number seven, it can become your life journal if you truly desire. One thing I like to do and look back over my old reading journals, it brings to mind where I was at that state and point in my life. You know, why I read this book, maybe it helped me in a certain way, in a certain aspect. So yeah, your reading journal can become your life journal. You can essentially work out issues that you're going on with your own personal life through your reading journal. You might also include information as to why you gave the book, uh, the period, time in which the book was set, uh, where you chose to read it. Did you read it at home? Did you read it on the beach while you're traveling? And number eight, okay. It gives you a place to write down other reading-related information, such as titles of books recommended by others, books you've read about and want to try, or books you've loaned from friends, I suggest keeping a few pages in the back of your journal to keep these kind of notations. So that way, in case you loaned it or it's a library book, you'll be able to remind yourself, okay, I got to make sure to get this back on this date at this time. So number eight. And number nine. Now, then, if you record your favorite quotes, some become touchstones in the future oh, that are worthy of sharing. You know, oftentimes, some of the most famous quotes from books, you know, I like to keep in my reading journal then I'll like copy and paste them other places as well uh one reading quote that I'm uh currently thinking about right now it's actually not a from a book it's a Shakespeare play it's um love is a tender thing it was um from a Romeo and Juliet play and I don't know why but that quote always kind of stuck with me as well and also just as that last book that I read uh sweet slow plenty of rhythm It was a quote that Maggie says, you know, music uh, is complicating, so let it complicate you. 
So moments like that where, you know, when you physically write something out, you're more able to remember it. And quotes like that, you know, you want to keep with you because you never know when you might need them. Number nine. So now, do, 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 number 10. The 10 reason as to why you need a rating journal. You can capture. You get a sense of satisfaction from knowing how much you read and how much you've benefited from it. You know, a reading journal keeps old friends alive. You know, books often become as beloved as a friend or at times a family member. They truly, for me, have given me a sense of pleasure, of wisdom, an escapism from this crazy world into a place where I can just, from which I draw and become very grateful for. You know, my reading journal ensures that the books that I've read, the lessons that I've learned from reading those books, those lessons will never be forgotten. And therefore, those lessons I carry with me and I can apply to my own life. So, those are the benefits of having a reading journal. But my personally, the reason I have a reading journal, you know, the reading journal that I have is actually just a blank journal where I just go through and I do, like I said previously, put stickers in, draw, paint, you know, obviously write, put quotes in from the book and write out the characters and yeah and if the book centers on familial relationships I like to draw out you know um little family trees or if it's a period piece I like to get to the date so the way I'm able to kind of draw okay this is set in 1950s to 1960s so I kind of like okay this is what happened in this time so that's why the character may have responded this way and yes I can remember you know who how all the characters are related how the time is related to everything else so yeah and you know that's what I do with my personal reading journal and the reason why I have one is that from all those benefits you know I get to go back and review books that I've read and perhaps if I want to reread them again so where would you go to buy a reading journal? Well, I would recommend going to Amazon, or your favorite bookstore. They have a lot of reading journals there. Like for me, I have a blank one that I just drew doodle myself. But if you need more encouragement or you need like prompts, there are pre-prompts that are set up as well to help guide you with your reading. Or if you want more control creativity like me, just get a regular journal. Use the page for book lists of books you've read and want to read. This way you can stay on top of reading goals for the month or the year. Okay, and as always, I like to end every podcast with a quote to contemplate. So this one comes from the series Harry Potter. And this is something a character series Black sets. And the quote goes, we've all got both light and dark inside of us. What matters is the part we choose to act on. That's who we really are. All right, I leave you with that. But then again, thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Tanisha's Reading Corner. You can follow me on Instagram at Tanisha's Reading Corner. Uh, For more tips and tricks like this on how to keep reading a daily habit, please like, rate, and review the episode. Share with family and friends. Help grow the podcast. And thank you again for listening. I hope to see you next week. And until then, I wish you all good wellness and good reading.